Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial by Zebra Code. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use C++ to read a CSV file. In the process, we will be using the LString as our library header. For us to accomplish that, we will create a CSV file. We will read a CSV file and use the LString header in the process. But before we do that, please take a minute to subscribe to our channel if you have not already subscribed to it. Now, with that said, let's create a CSV file. For us to create our CSV file, we will be using Notepad. Open Notepad and let's enter some test. Our CSV file will contain data for students. It will include the first name, last name, gender, course of study, year of study, nationality, and age. So let's begin by entering the data. Ella, comma, double quote, double quote, Jones, F for female, course of study, Law, she's a first year student, first year, her nationality, American, age, 22. Let's enter another student, Wei, Lee, female, F for female, M for male, she's studying physics, is a third year student. She is Chinese and 24 years old. She is 24. Another student. Moiwa, America. She is a female student. She studied computer science. She is in her second year. Her nationality is Nigerian. She's 23 years old. Another student, Paori Oswald. Male. He's studying chemistry. He's in his final year. He's British. He's 25 years of age. Another student, Osmond, Baylor, male. He is studying agricultural science. He's in his first year. He is a Nigerian, 20 years old. Another student, Helena Gave. Female, she is studying nuclear fields. She is in her third year. Third year, she is Jamaican, 26 years old. One more, Laura Erickson, female, biology. Second year, Canadian, 21. Okay, this is enough data for now. So let's save our file as a CSV file inside this same folder. And we will save this one as undergrads.csv. So go to File, Save As, undergrads.csv. SV, change this one to all files and save. Great. Now we have the undergrass.csv file inside our folder. Okay, now with that saved, let's go into our Sublime 
test you can use any test editor i have a folder here which i saved as cpp and csv and inside that folder i have another file which i named students.cpp and this is the one we just created our csv file undergrad.csv so they are both inside the cpp and csv folder you can use any name you are happy with for your folder but this is what i just used now now with this out of the way let's actually write our c plus plus code all right this is the undergrad this is all right this is the undergrad the csv file that we just created is inside our folder cpp and csv folder so inside that same folder i have created a file students.cpp so now let's enter our code inside the students.cpp file i will first of all add some header files i will string include string include f string we will this header file to read our csv file we will use this header file to read our csv file using namespace std standard int main return zero this is our usual c plus plus um, uh, template uh, code nothing really special here at the moment except this f stream header which we have added and we're going to use later first i would like to create a variable that we hold the file part and it will be of data type string string my file part let's assign it a value and the value we are going to assign to it here will be the name of the file that we are going to open which is the csv file in this case it is the undergrass.csv you can also add an absolute part that is the full part of any file you are going to use for example we could do something like this this is the full part to the file i'm referring to this one here this is where the file is on my system so if you want to add the full part you can add it like this if not you can leave it as it is here undergrad the csv which is this file here because they are all in the same folder so i will leave it as it is here now let's use the if stream if stream i'm going to create an object of this if stream i'll call it all students semicolon now let's open the file that will be all students dot open and what are we opening my file part let's test here to see that it's actually going to be able to open this file if it is not going to be able to open it it should give us an error message if the file doesn't open or if it doesn't exist we can use an if statement to do that say here if all students dot fail that will be c e r r unable to open the file what file is that that is unable to open my file part end line return one what's going on here 
it is easy to understand what is happening here. We have a file that we want to open and if that file fails, print out this error message and print out the name of the file that fails to open. Now let's compile and test our file. We are going to compile and run it. Save it. I'm going to open the command prompt now, cmd, command prompt. First, I will navigate to where that file is on my system, cd, desktop, cd, my intro, cd, cpp, and csv. This is the part that I am trying to navigate to. And it's all here. Hit enter. Great. G plus plus. Nothing. Read. Students. Students. Dot C P P. Hit enter. Great. It was compiled successfully. Now we are going to run it. Great students. Great. It was run successfully. No error message. Now it shows that it can open the file successfully. But let's make a deliberate mistake so that it will not be able to open the file. In this case, I'm going to delete S from the name of the file so that it reads undergrad.csv when in fact it is actually undergrads.csv now with the s deleted let's compile and run our file once again great it was compiled successfully but now let's run it exactly as expected unable to open the file under grass.csv which is this one here Could put a space here and i compile it now the compilation was successful let's run it exactly it is easier to read now unable to open the file under grad.csv because that file doesn't exist so this is how you test to see if you can actually open the file or not now i'm going to undo it so that it becomes what it was before under grad.csv great now we have tested it and we know that it can open it let's actually use a while loop to print out the content of the csv file while all students dot pick it's not equals end of file or first of all create a variable of data type string here and I will name it records. Now let's use the get line method here. Get line. And this we take some parameters. All students, comma, records, comma, single quote, single quote, or put a command there, semicolon. Now let's print out the record. C out records end line. Now let's close our file that is all students dot close. That is all that there is to it in this case. So let's compile our file again and run it. First of all, save it. Compile it. Great. It was compiled successfully. Now let's run it. Great. So our CSV file is now actually printed on the screen. So it's able to read it. This is how you print out your CSV file with the Fstream header file. So we have Ella Jones here. 
she is a female student law first year american 22 and the second uh, student if we look at our csv file this is how our csv file looks ella jones uh, female law first year american 22 and so on the last student there is laura erickson is that student printed or not let's double check yes laura erickson female biology second year canadian and she is 21 exactly what we have here in our csv file so this is how you read your csv file with the f stream in c plus plus meanwhile this result is not in the best shape at the moment because it's not really properly formatted we can do that but i won't do that in this video I will create another video where I will show you how to format the output of your CSV file. That is the result, how to format it and display it nicely. So in this video, we have successfully used the Fstream header file in C++ to read a CSV file. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so. Bye for now.